guys it's Nat and I forgot to do a little introduction for this video but welcome to my little reading scary books for Halloween video where I decided to read three books kind of like horror thriller-esque books to get into the spooky vibe of Halloween so yeah without further ado let's just get on into a video so you can see what books I read and if I recommend them. So guys, I finished today this book, so it's called We Used to Live Here by Marcus Cleaver. So on the cover in the book it says, you let them back in, period. You shouldn't have. So this is basically about Eve and Charlie. They buy this house for a like killer price and they're trying to flip it, so renovate it and then sell it for money. And one day, Charlie is like out and about in town running errands. And and Eve is by herself at the house with their dog Shiloh and she hears knocking on the door or like the doorbell ring. She opens the door there's a family standing in front of her like I think two sons, a daughter, a father and a mother and they say they are just passing by as they're on this cross-country I think move and the father used to live here when he was younger. He wants to show his family around, can he? And Eve is a people pleaser so she she, even though she really doesn't want to entertain these unexpected stranger guests, she decides to let them in. And then yeah, all these strange events start to unfold and this is supposed to be a horror book, like thriller, kind of, I would say psychological. I don't want to say too many things about what categories this book falls under, but I actually was pleasantly surprised by it. It has like a 3.8 average rating on Goodreads but the people I trust with recommendations like this on Goodreads gave it five stars, four stars, so I gave it a shot and I really enjoyed this. I ended up giving it four stars out of five so that means I really enjoyed it. I think the only reason why I didn't love it is because it wasn't spooky enough for me but I really loved the ending, like the ending gave it the fourth star. I think I read this quite quickly, maybe like in five, six, Six days I probably would have read it faster had I been at home all this time I actually bought this book in Amsterdam and yeah I'm definitely keeping it in my collection because I actually think you should read this yes it does have many loose ends at the end but like it just makes you think like you're questioning yourself you're questioning your sanity like who do you believe what actually happened like it's making your brain think and I actually really like that I love it when books have an open-ended is that what it's called like an open ending right like you can try and guess what's gonna happen after you read the end this was really really good like the ending just did it for me so yeah I highly recommend it if you want to read a spooky book this was my first spooky book of the season it's October 18th I don't know how many other books I'm gonna get a chance to read but I thought I would do a little vlog like this talking about like spooky reads because usually I just read like I do read some thrillers but I usually just read romance and non-fiction and this was like a great break from that so yeah highly recommend we used to live here by Marcus Cleaver this is also gonna be a movie on Netflix in the near future so once you read this you'll have that to look forward to because I'm definitely gonna be watching the movie so guys I'm coming back at you with another horror book that I read it is called come out come out wherever you are by Harley Beck sorry I'm looking at my laptop because I wish I never read this book <laughs> It is so bad. It was my first horror that's supposed to be erotic as well. But this book was so, 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 so bad. And I kept reading it because I wanted to see how it would end. And it didn't end in a way that was satisfying. I actually had an ending planned out in my head, but it went nowhere near my ending. So basically, this is a about it says it's the halloween themed horror story intended for mature audiences it's very dark and contains graphic sexual content and violence reader discretion is advised please guys don't pick this up it's a short read it's like under 300 pages i think it's under 250 pages but where do i even start basically we follow a girl i don't remember her name but she like in the preview which is a year in the past she's driving 
with her best friend and it's raining it's dark outside the friend is drunk and took drugs whereas i think I think the girl that actually is driving, the main character, was just drunk and she said that's okay. She was like, oh yeah, my best friend is like high as well, so that's not good, she probably shouldn't drive. It's okay if I drive or something like that and I was like, oh my god, red flag. And she hits Nate, I remember his name. He is the star quarterback and yeah, they basically cover up the manslaughter because it's basically manslaughter they did it accidentally like it wasn't planned or anything and then yeah a year after like it's reaching to nate's anniversary he comes back from the dead and it's just so weird and just so so bad like this was such a waste of time the graphic sexual violence is like it was so hard to read i had to actually skim it it was so bad like i'll give you a preview basically nate drugs the main female character and what does he do he like uses his fingers to do something she is unaware because she's been drugged she's on sleeping pills and he spreads something all over her and then she wakes up and she's like oh my god i've been violated but she's into it and then at the end this is not how you want mental health to be represented i think because it's just awful someone takes advantage of this girl that's in a weak state of mind and there's just a lot of mind games like at one point everyone was like making the female character doubt herself she's like wait so nate was never dead like what is happening it's just not a good book i don't recommend i wish i hadn't read it like i was supposed to be just reading like thrillers and horror and like crime books for halloween but i'm literally reading a romance right now to cleanse myself i want some good romantic interactions these weren't even romantic in this book yeah not good i don't recommend so definitely skip this one i think yeah it came out this year so please don't read it i don't know why this came about in my recommended for kindle books but yeah i don't know what i'm gonna read next maybe i might read either the death watcher by chris carter or i have another i have a couple like books that i'm really interested in let's see i can read pretty girls by karen slaughter behind closed doors by b.a paris into the drowning deep by mira grant i don't know if that's really but it gives off like a spooky vibe so that's what i want and where he can't find you by darcy coates which i've already read something by Darcy Coates and I really enjoyed so I might actually pick that one up next but we'll see I'll keep you updated so guys I just finished reading my third book for this reading scary books video and yeah I ended up finally finishing The Death Watcher by Chris Carter which I ended up giving three out of five stars to this is the 13th book in the Robert Hunter series that of course follows Robert Hunter and Carlos Garcia that LAPD in the ultra violent unit officers and they have another case to unfold basically I think the people that inspect dead bodies they're I think they're students and one doctor or one student she uncovers one of the bodies and realizes or sees signs in him that he didn't drown basically I think his cause of death was drowning but she sees all these different symptoms on his body that show that he's been tortured and basically this is about like a killer that tortures his victims and yeah why this book didn't work for me usually i cannot give chris carter books lower than three stars three stars is the lowest i've given and the last time i gave a book in this series three stars was an evil mind with lucian but yeah this one just did not work for me because it was missing the core factor of why i love chris carter books and it is the gory gruesome details of victims being tortured and just like seeing how a killer works yes i did like the reasons why the killer was killing you know it was very interesting but there were no torture scenes described until the very end and yeah the book finally did end up for me picking up in the last 50 pages of the book otherwise i think i started this book let me check it came out june 5th 2024 so this year and when did i start reading this 
Guys, I started this book June 7th. I've been reading it for this long because I kept putting it down, picking it back up. Yeah, it just did not have the tropes, the aspects that I love of a Chris Carter book. So definitely don't recommend this one if you've never read Chris Carter because his other books are so much better, especially for me. My favorite ones are The Death Sculptor, The Executioner, and of course, the first book that started me reading this whole series, The Cooler, which is the eighth book. Yeah, this was a very disappointing read. But yeah, out of the three books I read for this video, I definitely loved the first book that I read, which was We Used to Live Here by Marcus Cleaver. Definitely recommend this book. Pick it up so you can read it and then you can anticipate, you can wait for the Netflix movie because this one was really good. It wasn't scary per se, but it definitely was a little chilling. The second book, Come Out, Come Out Wherever You Are by Harley Beck. I don't recommend. This was horror, erotic horror. No, especially if you don't want to read about sexual assault, domestic abuse. Like, no, this was not it and the ending was just blah. and then yeah the death watcher was okay like it wasn't a bad book but it wasn't anything special so yeah and they definitely want to read more like horror books i finally want to pick up a stephen king book which i will definitely vlog for you guys but yeah let me know any scary spooky reads that you guys recommend as i would love to read some i have some on my list that i will definitely be talking about in the future but hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.